Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Out in the middle of Tasman Bay, blue water, and we're trolling for tuna. I had one strike before, but it didn't hook up, and there was only the one fish, so I don't know where the rest of the score was. I've got three tuna lures out, two hand lines, and one on the rod, and we're just gonna tow around for the next two hours around this uh, contour line, about 50 meters, and see if we can hook up. Play the waiting game, it's not the most exciting, but when we hook up, it's all worth it. Well, this is not what I wanted, but a beautiful sight nonetheless. Just gonna try and cruise out of here um, without hitting a dolphin, but they're bloody everywhere. Man, it is just mint out here. Just absolute glass everywhere you look. It makes it really easy to spot birds. Um, although the birds I am spotting are hanging around with the dolphins. So I think maybe the dolphins might be getting into the fish. So just spoke to another boat and he hooked up, he's caught one so far. So they're definitely here. I'm just gonna keep hanging around for as long as I can really. As I said, I had the one strike but it didn't hook up and I haven't had nothing since, but hopefully give it a bit of time and hopefully we'll hook up soon. Gonna bleed it. Ouch. 
didn't have time to put my gloves on. I'm getting paid for it. This is a good one. Oh yes! Woo! Oh, I'm tired. Get hooked up again. The whole day, the whole day out here, and in the last 10 minutes, just as I'm heading in, I hit the school. Dolphins hanging around for a fee feed. Absolutely bloody epic. Look at the size of these things. Perfect eating. Oh, I just can't wait to have some sashimi. Woo! All right, that was hard work, man. I need to clean up because this boat is a mess. Blood everywhere. And I need to deal to these fish. They're in the bleed tank at the moment. So I've just bled them out. And I've got a, got a whole bin of ice here, so I'm going to chuck them in there once I've washed them off. chilled that albacore down, we cut it up and we've had a few feeds of sashimi already but there is a limit to how much sashimi a man can eat and believe me I've been there so we're going to go home and I'll show you another way how to make that albacore tuna go the distance. We'll see you back in my place.
so start off by sterilizing your jars put a layer in the bottom a tea towel in between and fill them up with water bring it to the boil while you're waiting for that to boil you can cut up your tuna into manageable bits use a cup that's about the same size as a jar to get an idea of how much you need per jar once those jars are boiled pull them out of the hot water and leave them to air dry after you've done that you can bottle up your tuna we're going to do sweet chili here so we put a tablespoon of sweet chili at the bottom stack it up with as much tuna as you can fit and then fill up the rest with both olive oil and sweet chili sauce with one tablespoon of salt once you put your sauce and oil in you can use the end of a spoon to just pull the tuna in a bit and get rid of the air pockets once there's no air pockets and it's full to the brim, you can top it up with any extra sauce you want and then put the lid on. So the next batch we're going to do a lemon pepper brew. So first we're going to roll our tuna through the cracked pepper. Give that a light dusting, chuck it in the jar, squeeze the lemon on top and top it up with olive oil. Once you've packed the jar and filled it up with oil, you can get the air bubbles out, top it off with a teaspoon of salt and a slice of lemon. You can wipe away any contaminants on the top of the jar with a simple white vinegar mix and tighten them up ready for brewing. That's the second brew there, lemon pepper. Bloody good. Now we're just going to make it through the remainder of the jars to make it a worthwhile process. Load your pressure cooker back up, layer on the bottom, tea towel in the middle, and last one's on the top. Chuck it on the boil. When it starts to boil and gas off, turn the heat right down and just let it cook consistently for about one hour, 40 minutes. Once it's done, pull the jars out to cool and let them pop down. If they pop down, that means they're sealed. The ones that don't pop down, you've got to consume in three days. All right. So we've just got a basic salad here, basic salad, and we're going to chuck some of this tuna in there. Now I have already tried all three flavours that are made, and general consensus was the lemon pepper was the best, but I do like this chilli one as well. These are the ones that didn't seal, so that any that don't seal, you can recook them, but the other option is to just eat them within three or four days, and it's pretty easy when it tastes this good. I'm just going to load up my salad with a whole bunch of this tuna, a bit of sauce, and this will last, it's known to last over a year, but it won't last that long. It'll get eaten. I've gone through about three jars already. There it is, guys. Beautiful, homemade albacore tuna salad. Give it a crack. Um, it's definitely a good thing to do to tuna. Another way of making your fish last, and it's absolutely delicious. Cheers.